Hi guys, today I have, um, it's not a tag because nobody tagged me, or maybe they did, but I'm so unpolite that sometimes I just don't respond to tags because I don't, I don't know that I was tagged because sometimes I, I just don't have the time to see, like, uh, res like, the videos that I get sent. I'm sorry, but I, I don't really have sometimes the time, so, um... I just want, some people uh, suggested for me to do a random facts video, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to do 10 facts, and some viewers ask me, nobody that has, let, that actually make videos, but yeah, so there you go. Random fact number one is that people think that I'm Middle Eastern. Everywhere I go, it's like, are you Persian? Are you Assyrian? And I go like, a uh, no. And I didn't really know, like, what to think. I know um, I have only two years living in the States, so I'm very uh, very familiar with all, all the ethnicities. And on the street, it's like, are you Persian? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and since I don't have, like, the perfect English ex accent, and they're like, what are you? <laughs> And no, actually, I'm Mexican. I'm from a state called Baja California Sur, which is um, about a thousand miles south to the United States border. Many people just don't know the town that I live. I, I used to live, and I was born it, at. It's uh, La Paz, and it's uh, about an hour and a half by car from. Cabo San Lucas. So, if you know, if you've heard about Cabo San Lucas, it's like, I went to the beach over there, like, at least once a month, you know, during the the summer, which is almost all year round. So, yeah, I'm not Middle Eastern, and uh, when I, I got a lot of comments on y here on YouTube when I started uh, posting videos, and I was like, Persian, Persian, why Persian? And I was really flattered when I went on Google, and I just Google Persian women and this uh, website with pictures came up and I was like oh my god those Persian women are so gorgeous so I'm really flattered that they say I'm Persian because they're really you know exotic looking and, and very beautiful so thank you all, all of you that have thought that I'm Persian so that's that uh, my favorite food if I could leave on ice cream I would live on ice cream. It's like, sweets for me, it's like, I wish I could eat just ice cream forever. But obviously, that's not possible. And, you know, Oreo cookies, chocolate, whatever is sweet, ultra sweet, I can eat. And I won't stop, like, I don't know, you know what I mean. Um, lately, I've been on low carb for like three months and I lost around like 20 pounds in this three months and basically what I get is like the low carb ice cream and not a lot because it has a lot of sugar alcohol and it's like it gives me a little bit of trouble in my stomach so I just have a little bit to don't go with trouble and then um, you know the Atkins bars and stuff that are low carb are really good so whenever I have, I like, the need of a sweet, which is every time it's less um, often, I just go in and grab one, and they're real good. But I like about low carb is that I like that what you can eat, it's like almost no limits. Like, you can have a, until you feel like you feel good. And when, with any other kind of eating, it's like... Uh, just a little bit of this and this and another kind of person. So yeah, it's been working really good on uh, for me. I haven't worked out the way I should, but anyway. So that's for my food and my favorite food and what I'm eating right now. And right now, a low carb I can live on chicken breast. Oh my god, with garlic. It's like <laughs> I can eat it four chickens. Well, I don't, but I love chicken. Breast. Another random fact is that I sing at church. I don't uh, do it like, I'm taking like a break because I have a four-year-old, 
five-year-old son almost, and nobody takes care of him since my husband also plays on the team. So it's like I had to leave him with anyone or with someone who would take care of him during the worship. So I had to just take a break. And, and But yeah, I sing and I can do a solo. I also do voices or, you know, background vo vocals. I'm a mezzo soprano to soprano. That's my 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 ranch and the voice. And yeah, that's, I like singing. Uh, I have an eclectic taste in music. It's like I can listen to almost anything except for like regional Mexican music. I just don't do like ranchera music. Uh, not ranchera, but like norteño or grupero, oh my god, I just can't stand it, sorry, <laughs> sorry people, but yeah, I'm very eclectic in music, and I can sing a lot of stuff, uh, I, I am 5 foot 7 inches, and my shoe size is a 10, I have big foot, the pro on that is that I get a lot of, you know, the clearance stuff, it's always like the biggest sizes, and there's where I'm located. Another random fact will be that I, when I was a teenager, I was a skater. I was a tomboy. I was a rocker, and I would only listen to heavy metal and thrash music. Oh yeah, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, all that stuff. Oh yeah. I was a skater. Yeah. It's weird because now I'm all girly and like my go, but back then it was like, this is a skateboard, and that's weird. Um, another random fact is that I, since I grew up on the beach, by the beach, my, the, from my mom's house, the beach is like blocks away. And I would go to the beach, like, to, because in La Paz, the very, the very, um, the be the beaches that are like in the in town are like very populated, and the best beaches, the water is, you know, turquoise water and white sand is like kind of far away, you know, 40 minutes from from town, and I used to go there once a week. If you see see pictures of me back then, my hair was super light. And my skin was super dark because I was, I just lived on the beach. And we went and I would go fishing, you know, sports fishing with my family members, with my cousins. And yeah, I used to almost live on the beach. Right now I can hardly go in the sun, but back then it's like my hobby. Another random fact is that, um, my parents divorced when I when I was like in fifth grade, and they remarried six years later. So they didn't get married on their own. I mean, they don't they didn't get married or anything. They remarried each other six years ago. Six six years after that. So I'm really pleased to say that they're still together today to this day. And yeah, and I give the credit but to only to God. Because before God came into their lives, it was like a chaos. But after that, it was like 200 times better. Another random fact is that my left ear drum is punctured. I punctured it with a Q-tip when I was like two years old. And yeah... I feel when I'm in the in a car and the, the, the music is just too loud, I feel it like a vibration in there and I just can't stand it. I have to to uh, roll down the window a little bit. I don't know if it's, you know, the waves that go in there. I don't know, but and I when I'm cleaning my ears it's like I still do it. I mean I still clean it like all the way because I'm afraid but I feel different this ear from the other one and it doesn't uh, affect me when I'm singing or anything just when I get the cold or something it's this is very sensitive another random fact would be that I designed my own wedding dress 
I do sketches. Well, I used to do it a lot more, and I wanted to be like a fashion designer. But when I was in, in middle school, I went uh, went my the specialty that I that they put you in. Um, you know, I took um, you know how to sew and everything, and that to that that was also including uh, fashion design only one day a week. But anyways, um, so I always liked like the corset kind of dress, and I would and I would just draw that kind of dress, sorry, that kind of dress, and and my friends would laugh at me and say, "Hey, what that is your lingerie uh, picking out of that dress or what?" You know, because the corset looked like with you know with the strings right here and all that. And I go, "No, I want that to be my my." wedding gown. And everybody was like, oh, you're crazy. That looks so old. Because I was 90s and everybody was like, oh my god, you know, the latest. And I was like, with the 17th century kind of dress. But when I happened to go and buy my dress, there was nothing else on the on the, on the the stores. I went to Guadalajara to buy it. And there were only corset dresses because of you know, Titanic just imposed the fashion of the corset dresses. So it wasn't very hard to me to get the seamstress to do it for me. And yeah, I just took the sketch to her and she did it. And by the way, I'm, uh, and as a tan fact, I met my husband when I was like 12 years old. And he was, he just went to my city to, to, to go to college there. But we never got along. It was like, oh my God, I can't stand this guy, because he was very serious and now was a skater <laughs> by then. So yeah, I met him when I was 12. He was like 17, 18, no, 18. Yeah, 18. He went to college, and we never got along. We never talked to each other much. Just like the politically correct high and bye bye, and. Like a year before my wedding, we started talking to each other, we started dating, we got engaged, and we married in one year. So yeah, that's my 10 random facts. Hope you guys enjoy it and you got to know me better. I'll see you guys.